Let's go find out who this ghost is exactly. She's leading us somewhere. Oh. Let's follow her track. I don't like ghosts that run away. <laughs> Come on then, keep up. They seem to do that a lot. Now, yeah, we need to follow the tracks with her. So Hepsheba seems to have lost her memory. I don't know if it's because of the haunting or because she has uh, some kind of dementia. But uh, the ghost that we saw looked a lot like her. She didn't remember that her husband had, uh, I, I think, passed away in a whale boat accident or, or at sea on a whale boat, that boat that we checked out last time. I admit, I'm surprised. Sweet old harmless Goody Perkins was an absolute hellion. People change over time. But since her husband died at sea, why blame Deborah for it? Oh yeah, that's right. Perhaps she was in pain. We needed someone to blame for the loss of her husband. Let's ask her ghost. She blamed Deborah. I don't really know how she uh could be involved. Now we found like a, a scythe underneath a box. Which I, I took as like maybe Sheba killed the woman whose ghost is haunting her? Uh, but I don't know. We've got some clues. We don't have the full picture yet, as it is with most of the hauntings in this game, which is really cool. It gives you a chance to try to figure it out yourself and speculate. And then, uh, not this way. And then kind of gives you, uh, the answer. But it's still not like, you know, everything's very gray in this game. I mean, and not just the way it looks. <laughs> I mean, it's colorful to you, but it's definitely the tones are dark and gray. Okay. I assume we're going back to the boat. We have to look around here. Not here again. Maybe we missed something the first time. There was a woman hanging. She's not there anymore. Hanging from uh, up there. She's gone though. Switch. Okay, well, there's a guy behind me, too, right? Lock to your heart's content. Boom! Whoa! That surprised me. Ow! Whoa! Let's go. Oh, yeah. Should have expected some combat there. Good warm up. Wait a second. What's that? Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. I. I don't know what's going on with that. Is that a bug? Weird. Okay. So, okay, that, that probably opened up. We've got the key now, that's right. So we're gonna be jumping across over to, to the ghost. I think I think I kind of know what, what to do. We had been here before, but this area back here wasn't open. The ship has changed. Changed how? Oh, yeah. 
This was all like broken up, but but blocked off as well. Okay, I kind of want to go back and read the stuff that we found because it it now we have more context. I thought it was just here from before. Sailor's Diary, page number one, fourteenth of May, sixteen seventy-eight. We follow the black whale three full days now. Clever it is. Clever it is too. We lose it and pick it up once more. Two days later, we took the black whale. It is lashed to our hull. Its dark eye watches me, black like a wounded leviathan, filled with hatred. The foam at our stern bleeds red and we shall have oil for the winter. There's another one over here, wasn't there? Uh, 21st of March, 1672. I miss Alice and the Childer. I pray we return in haste. Our barrel's full. For some reason unknown to me, today I think of our late Jillian. A fin. We gave chase about the creature, but the creature dived. All is quiet once more. Okay, so this is before that. We have taken not a whale, but the captain has us singing all the same. Someone hit the captain over the head and steer for home. The fools will surely hang. It's 5th of April. 10th of April, nary a whale, the captain should watch out. 14th April, the food is running low and we shall make for home, or the captain shall take a hammer to the head. But then they did catch the whale. The, the captain was determined to catch it, despite the health of his people. Anything changed in here? No. Oh, okay. So yeah, this had opened up. There is this chest here. So that wasn't actually important to the mission. It was going to talk to her that opened this up. But who was it just an like an illusion? Or did someone fix the ship? I'm so confused. Try to find a way across. I'm on it. Uh. Okay. There's something to shoot to knock that down. Ah, there it is. That's what I was looking for before from below, but I couldn't see it. Still not enough. Uh, is there something up there I need to shoot also for that rope? Maybe I need to see it from this side. Oh, it's down there! Oh my god, I looked all- I even went, like, back down to look for it. I really looked everywhere for that. Why- why did they put that there? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wow, I got has to be close. so stuck there. Oh, gone again. 
Wait, she led us here. She must have had a reason. The other thing I was kind of thinking of it was that maybe she, like, a part of herself separated? Like, her spirit separated from her body or something? But then what was that other body that we saw? Moments from the past are still here. Okay. This would be, uh... Echo. A drop may hide the rain. The sky is creepy now. It was so Have sunny mercy before. Upon me, oh God, according to thy loving kindness. For I have done this evil in thy sight. Hang me up before the Lord against the sun. That is fierce. Anger, be turned away. Deliver me from my blood guilt. Purge me, and I shall be clean. She, is she hang herself? Tell me you understand what is going on. I would, but I don't. The ghost of a little old lady, frail and weary. The afflicted spirit seems consumed with remorse. In the sea captain's house, the banishers met Hepsheba Perkins. His memory seemed to be causing her trouble. She couldn't remember her own husband, and she seems also to have forgotten something painful from her past. She killed herself out of guilt. But guilt about what? And she's also still alive. Okay. What was that sound? There she is. I pray she stays there. No more running. Uh, I didn't see her. Also, this stuff. Very curious to see what the explanation for this is going to be. Because so far, it doesn't make much sense. Less twin sisters that were pretending to be the same person? Or some other. There should be either, uh, some other evil at work here. I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> Um, oh, there she is there, right. Can we just talk a bit? Yes. What strangeness is this? Can you really be Goody Perkins? I can be Hepzibah Perkins, and I am. I know Mr. McRae, but I don't know you. I'm Antea Duarte. I need your help. I do not wish to ask for it, but I must. I have prayed for help, but God has not sent his answer. Because I do not deserve Oh, the an body answer. could have been taken over. Unless the answer is you. Then God mocks me. But at least he answers. Could have been like uh, possessed. We've, we've experienced that before, right? Or we've seen other people get possessed. You're alive, yet dead. What do you want with your other self? I must warn me, her, of the danger. The gates of heaven are closed to me, and the Lord is deaf to my complaint. I've committed the greatest of all sins. I denied the life he gave me. Damnation eternal awaits us both. I must save her. From herself. Uh, yeah, how can you be here? This is... 
How can you be alive and dead at the same time? This is the Lord's punishment. It's the old Schrodinger's this cat is thing. His will. I remember it's quantum, the bone quantum mechanics. Cold as I wandered in the endless darkness. Then, suddenly, his warm and dazzling light enveloped me and brought me back here to where I'd lost my life. This is my penance. Damned to watch, helpless, as I sin against him. Again. And again. Oh, like, and again. her body keeps committing but then, killing itself? I thought perhaps not. Perhaps this is my chance for redemption. For absolution. For salvation. Life can take you to the darkest places. I know this. I know how tempting a permanent solution to a temporary problem can seem. Yet some consider it the worst of sins. What brought you to it? God knows. And I would prefer to keep it between he and I. If you want us to help, we'll need to know. I just need you to get away from her. Every time you ask her the question, it's one more chance for her to remember. And then she hangs herself? But then how does she come back to life? I still have so many questions. Your living self seems to have lost her memory. Any idea how? She has lost her memory because she is haunted. Perhaps this is why God has sent me. You remember, and she forgets. What happens if it starts to come back to her? Then she will remember, and I will forget. This is genuinely fascinating. If she remembers, I have failed. I am the keeper of her memories, her pain, her faults, and her guilt. I protect her from the past to safeguard her future. You don't protect her, though. You're killing her. Then she dies without adding to her sins, and I am no longer needed. G goodbye? I think I'm wrong about we the whole like now. cycle that I came Please. up with there. Save her. What now? We go back to the old lady's house and check in on her. This is so weird. Sailor's Diary, page 3, 4th of June, 1671. The sea is rough and whales are hard to spot. The bosun tells me it can be this way for weeks. 10th of June. I am bored fit to shite. Okay. Uh, 11th of June. A fin. Blue whale. Blues are bigger. No harpoon on it yet, but the captain has its trail. 3rd of June. I swear a whale hunt is akin to a war. Jillian is wounded. A barrel has fallen upon his leg. 18th of June. Jillian's leg. Gillian. It'd be Gillian, right? Gillian's leg is infected. He shall likely lose it and come home one-legged if he comes home at all. Is that... I can't remember if we learned the name of... Her husband, but maybe that's him. And not the captain. Okay. Um We need to look for somewhere to cross. What? We do? I think it's just reminding me about the crossing above. Let's this case is beyond me. What about you? Charles once told me about a time traveling ghost. I didn't believe him. Kronos. God of time. This has something to do with the ship. Well, obviously. Exactly what I was thinking. Ah. Time and the void have a special relationship. 
Maybe it's that. Makes sense. Ceridian's perception of past, present, and future seems flexible. That's true. The Ceridians had a long life of void walking. Maybe it rubbed off. Maybe Goody Perkins stood too close to the void. I think Lammy mentioned uh, some stuff about time also. Huh. Okay, I did not. That's the one. It's funny with all the speculation that I just made. Time traveling ghost was not one of the things I thought of. <laughs> Who carved that passage? It can be waddle back and forth. That that one wasn't on my bingo card, that's for sure. There's a chest there. I don't think she's home. Absolutely covered. Spectral energy. They brought more friends. Try this on for size. You need better friends. Goody Perkins! Look, the rock. There's an echo here. A ghost left a fragment of their past here. Come on! Won't someone do something? All right, I'll start then. Cowards, you all! We welcomed you, and this is how you reward us. Confess now. Oh, Deborah. Confess the names of your accomplice witches, or be sent back to the rotten hell you worship. Let she who is without sin cast the first stone. She cast the first stone. A stone replete with spectral traces. Hepsheba Perkins laid this first stone down to execute Deborah Cominius. Damn it. Wish we hadn't seen that. But we have seen it. Now we know. So it's not it's not related to her husband. We haven't been able to go through here yet, right? It's all about Deborah. How bad is it? She remembers, and soon shall I die. Okay, so maybe she does go and hang herself, and then she comes back. You took part in the torture and murder of Deborah Comenius. You killed her. I could not bear the grief of my husband's loss. It turned to anger. I sought a culprit. My rage was blind. So it is connected, just I not to not Deborah like guilty. Not like we thought. Because I needed her to be guilty. I was not alone in it. I share the blame. But the guilt is all my own. Okay. This mistake. How do we stop you or her from making it? Talk to her. She remembers. The curse will be repeated. Her memory returns and she remembers the stone. She remembers the day. The day she killed. The day she killed Deborah. The memory of that sin, of her blood guilt, will drive her to another sin yet worse. I must be stopped. And so she rem the body, like the living part remembers. She's overcome with guilt and then she hangs herself. And the spirit sees it but doesn't know what's going on, doesn't remember, and then she gets the memories, and Ipsheba forgets, and somehow is brought back. It, like, she hangs herself, but then just, like, falls down or something? I, 
that's the part I don't understand how, how that we must works. Go I think, Please, anyways. Don't let her do it. Save me from the sin I'll soon commit. You heard her. She said she was to blame. But her, she said she was guilty. She said she's not entirely to blame, but she'll she's about to be. Yeah, Captain, okay. So she was the Mrs. Captain. Perkins, okay. Are you alright? I have a weight upon me. The stone. The stone. May God forgive me. What have I done? I remember now. I remember everything. Did they like bury her alive or something? I and I can tell you're upset. It's a lot to take in. Unfortunately, there's more. There's a lot more. The ghost that haunts you is you. It's hoping to stop you doing something that you'll regret. My ghost! Is this why sadness hangs heavy on my poor heart? Is this how I feel my guilt? Mm. Life is a gift to be cherished. Sadness fades, joy returns, you can't throw it away. I know, but what if that's what I deserve? You're a good soul, sir, and a man of action. Help me. Spare me my misery. I beg you, end it. End it now. The woman knows what she wants. Be a good neighbor and give it to her. This is your fate. It's your decision. Mrs. Perkins. Why when they make it this easy? Uh, you heard. Show yourself. She wanted it! The easiest, the easiest one. Hipsy I thought it was Perkins, going to be hard. As you live and breathe, I know your past and your future too. I've heard your request. I see no other way. There is always another way. But if this will prevent your damnation, I'm happy to serve. Thank you. You seem a nice young man. I know how much this costs you. Oh, oh no, we want this. <laughs> that is so creepy every time. Ugh. My pleasure. You heard my complaint. Thank you. Plus one essence. Let's pop that. We could we could do that here. Yeah, we could do it anytime. Okay. Web weaving. Defeating an enemy affected by ensnare applies ensnare to all of their surrounding enemies. That's pretty neat. Damage dealt by Antea is increased by 15% for each manifestation cooldown. Yeah. Unstoppable. When fusion ends, spirit points are fully restored. That, that's good, too. Leap damage is increased by 150%, but leap cooldown is increased. Eradication. The fourth punch attack increases the damage of the next manifestation by 40%. I'm going to keep forgetting about that. Banishing enemies fills the fusion gauge by 25%. That's just bonus. Pure bonus. Maybe. Damage taken is reduced by 15%, but manifestation cooldowns are increased by 30%. 
one more projectile, and it's there. Defeating an enemy within Tater starts 5% health points. I like that. Fusion and spirit points fully assured. I think we do the banish thing, though. Okay, let's check out where this goes. And then we're going to start the next two more hauntings here. Wait, is, is there one? There's also one over here, too. I think it's all going to have to do with Deborah's execution, right? That was something. It won't be the last weird case you have. Trust me. Wait. Is this going to lead to that chest? And they're all pretty freaking weird. But yeah, that one was particularly strange, wasn't it? Ghost wards cannot manifest. I think I see it. No, that's that's the chest. Okay. A ward restrains me. <gasps> what? Okay, I think I can get it from here. The ward's power is gone. Cool. I mean the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. I didn't bother looking to see where it was. There's one up there. So there's one there, and then this one, or maybe that is that one. One here, okay. Shoot, we don't have a lot of time with that. Quick and precise. That was actually pretty tricky. I gotta be honest with you, I feel pretty strong. Like, I don't think I really need to. Whoa. Yeah. I don't think I need to power up too much. It's just gonna make the game too easy. one we've gotten like I said though they tend to be kind of around each other right but I'd like to uh, I'd like to get the next haunting going because I really enjoy those that last one was really fun even though I got pretty lost Finding that one thing. I have a feeling a lot of people will have issues with that. Because the two were kind of in the same area, and then the other one was like. It was totally different. What is, what is what kind of horrors does the game have in store for us next? What kind of horrors in the harrows.
Unchain thy heart. Someone is vexed behind that door. Excuse the mess. Another bottle broke. It's no big business. Are you sure you're all right? You seem a little overwhelmed. Uh, a bottle fell from its shelf. No big business, Mr. McRaith. Happens all the time. Have we met? I'd surely remember. I saw you strutting cocksure about the meeting house like some Scottish king. Tis a pleasure to meet you, your majesty. Likewise, miss. Okay. I am you, miss. Okay. I am Mistress Phoebe Walcott, and you are in my store. Are you alright? If you must know, sir. I have a drinking problem. Really? I do. My liquor disappears. My bottles fall to the floor and break, though I'm nowhere near. It is a drinking problem indeed. Objects inexplicably vanishing, moving or breaking. Either you're haunted or you're clumsier than you think. Haunted, you say? Mm, well, your majesty, why not? As the saying goes, when life gives you a torrent of shit, may as well be haunted. What's what so you tell me about the community here? As in, who here hates you the most after what you did? Is that what you mean? <laughs> I don't. Uh, well, ask about her. And how are you? I'm doing my best to bring a little joy to the world. What with all the gloom. And how's that going for you? <laughs> Badly. <laughs> you could be in danger. To be haunted is really good. Well now, that is bad news. Which is good, because I don't believe in good news. I'm offering you my help. Can you afford to refuse it? I don't believe in helping hands either. But if you want to do whatever it is you do, please feel free to do it. Does it only happen in the shop or does it happen elsewhere? Shop most of the time, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Normally, if a bottle disappears, I drank it and forgot. But I'm not wrong about this. In quiet moments, I hear the bottle glass crack. When I'm not there, the liquor moves about. Other times, they dare to fall of a sudden out of nowhere and break upon the floor. The shelves are straight and proper stacked. I had Ishmael check. Tis a mystery, right enough. Ishmael and you were close, I believe. Oh, how folk love to talk. They're wrong. There's nothing improper between me and Ishmael. He works for me, and we enjoy each other's company. He's a good friend who lives upstairs. I have my own little house across the way. Ah, oh, talk of an angel. Hear the flutter of his wings. Phoebe? What's the matter? Ah, okay, this guy. Oh, good day. Uh, what can I well, do? Well, it's just another bottle broke. I'd blame my butterfingers, but Mr. Banisher here thinks we may have a ghost. God take my soul. I'm sorry. The spilled liquor. The stink. Come now. Come now. I'm sorry. He doesn't like the smell All of liquor? All is well, Ishmael. Breathe. Just breathe. Having a panic attack? It's just another worry fit. You'll be fine. While he gets back on his feet, let's look around. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, like I said, I'm just... Uh, I've been pushing it pretty hard. I don't want to overdo it. Uh, I'll Are see you guys sure on the next one. Little pick me up? And I love you all.